now between Cardi B letting us know that she has a passion for music uh, so we're just trying to remix I'm a Bobby Girl and uh, of course Kavisha telling us that she is now jumping into acting I do not know which one is more tea than the other hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea blog now shortly after letting us know that she might be cancelling her show Karisha please Karisha decided to let us know that she is in the new uh, Kenya Boris show and she is gonna be tapping into her actress mode and honestly speaking I just feel like at this point she is trying to find herself she's trying to see exactly uh, you know where she does fit in exactly what she does enjoy and I'm not surprised because even from the city girls I've always felt like um, JT was the like was more of a rapper than Carisha I've always felt like Carisha was like more of a performer and like rapping was not like her um, you know her thing thing like that like JT and so when she does things like venturing out into other things I really cannot fault her for that so yeah that's that about that tea lovers and I did see other people basically saying that oh well when you know people you can be anything you can basically hop from being a host of a talk show to being an actor and uh, I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, if you do have connections, you can use them to your adv to your advantage. I mean, come on, you, you guys. I mean, yeah. So do hop into the comment section and let me know if you agree with me that Karisha is probably just trying to find herself. Now, moving on to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, Cardi B did go back and forth with what did look like fan accounts. And honestly speaking, at this point, I don't know what to make of it because in one breath, we are told that, um, well, I care about the money. I do not care about performance so much. And in the next breath, it's completely a different thing. And at this point, I don't know, you guys. Like, I literally don't know what um, exactly we should believe. Do you get what I'm saying? Because one moment is another vibe. I'm getting paid this much. That's all that matters. And then the next side, you know, I do care about my craft. I care about, you know, rap. And I always try to. And I did catch the phrase, oh, I'm always putting my bestest. And I'm like, does that sound familiar? But then you would hear people saying Nicki Minaj is the one who is trying to be the other one. In my own opinion, yeah, you guys, it's, it's kind of weird. And I did also bump into a video where she was basically admitting to getting her nose done. Now, you guys, I mean, I've always suspected that something like that could have happened. But then we have always heard her saying that, you know what, she didn't get her nose touched. And we did see some of her fans saying that Nicki Minaj is trying to look like her. So I'm like, okay, I, I, at this point, I think that one is settled. I don't think I expect to see any arguments surrounding who's trying to look like who. Because, I mean, Nicki clearly never touched her nose. So I don't really think it would make sense for anyone to say that she is trying to look like Cardi. Um, because otherwise it would just give delusion if people would still try to push that narrative okay so do hope into the comment section and let me know what you think about that whole back and forth with the fans and what you do think about the video of uh, basically admitting to getting surgery and I did hear people, I didn't he hear her say, I'm sorry, that while well, she did get help from somebody from the industry, I don't know what kind of help is exactly, I don't know whether that person recommended like a surgeon or I don't know what exactly the help was. But I did see some trolls basically laughing and saying, it better not be Kim. And I'm like, you guys just leave Lil Kim alone, leave her out of all this, okay? Like, yeah, don't do it. So do hop into the comment section and let me know if you in the first place believed that she hadn't touched her face or if you always, you know, kind of thought like, okay, ma'am, we can see that you touched your face. Uh, do let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now, moving on to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, still talking about faces. I do not know who found it necessary to call Kiki um, Palmer unpleasant to look at. Um, I, I, 
at this point you guys i don't know like first of all that lady is so pregnant how could you call a pregnant woman names make it make sense and second of all kiki palmer is not unpleasant to look at at all so i find it well that somebody out there would actually think that of kiki palmer but it seems like she had time today because she did tweet a message basically checking those people who were calling her that and uh, she was like uh, it's wild to call somebody you know not pleasant to look at but definitely it's more wilder to call me um unpleasant to look at because i'm beautiful and honestly speaking i do agree with her she's extremely gorgeous okay now moving on to the next thing that i'm going to be talking about so witty no i love so witty you guys have always said that um but her, her, I, I don't know she did um have some people trolling her for her Barbie girl remix uh people were mad that why would she mix that song and uh i did listen to it i could see doing it rounds on tiktok i could definitely see people bopping to it on tiktok and at this point so witty i love you so much but i just wish like i said in my previous video i wish she would you know lean more towards the beauty industry come up with a gloss or something do you get what i'm saying i think she would really do well and eat it up in that industry okay but that's just my opinion so do hope into the comment section and uh, let me know what you thought about uh so witty's bubby girl remix okay and uh finally uh nia long has allegedly finally called it quits with has uh, with a partner um and i honestly after the whole cheating ordeal i mean i do understand her um and i do not blame her and i do wish her the best um you know in the next um endeavors that she's gonna be engaged in and um yeah she's really a very gorgeous woman and i love that she knows her worth and yeah i wish her nothing uh but good luck now thank you very much you guys for watching and thank you very much for making it this far if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you would be notified each and every time that i post because i post each and every single day and i keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on instagram on twitter and about all things trending okay now so subscribe subscribe and you guys my voice is a bit like this because i've got a bit of tonsillitis um i got carried away had some raw tomato and yeah i guess these are the consequences and yeah but thank you very much you guys if you did notice last night um that was basically um yesterday i'm sorry that was a pre-recorded video um the one that i did about remy um yeah so you guys i'm having a bit of um it's i'm all over the place since i started a new job but thank you for sticking around and um until my next one see you